everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and today I've got another Halloween inspired tutorial for you. Hopefully many of you will recognise this guy, it's the Count or Count Von Count from Sesame Street. I was originally going to do a Halloween Elmo or something but realised that since the Count is actually a vampire I should probably do him first. But if you would like to see me do Elmo or another Sesame Street character let me know in the comments. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do I'd love it if you subscribed to my channel and gave this video a thumbs up. And thanks for watching. To start this design, paint your middle nail white and the rest of your nails black. As usual, the names of the polishes I used will be listed down below. On all of your fingers but the middle finger, paint this easy spiderweb design. Make a few white diagonal lines going across your nail and then fill in between them with some little curved lines. Now we'll move on to the count himself and first you're going to need to outline his face. It's easy if you have a picture of him to refer to so I'll link to one down below. Make sure you're using a really thin brush for this, the one I'm using right now is currently being given away on my previous video so I'll link that down below and also where you can buy it if you want to buy it yourself. Next you'll need to add some shiny black hair that goes onto the top of his head and also on the sides. Then add some more little details like the edge of his cape and his ears. The nose is a big diamond shape and you might find it useful to do what I did here and make the dots first and then connect them with lines. Use some more black polish to make his little goatee bed in the edges of his collar and then it's time to colour him in. I mixed a white, purple and a black together to get just the right colour and then applied this all over the whole face. Next I'm retracing the nose and adding the line in the middle and then just painting on the mouth. This can be a bit fiddly to get right so just go at your own pace and use the background purple if you need to fix anything up. Now you need to add in the eyebrows which should give them a lot of expression. Just do a couple of black lines on each side and they should look fine. Next carefully make two black circles and dab some more black in the middle to outline the eyes. While well, that's drying, colour in the cape green and his shirt grey. Now you're going to need some white polish and just make another circle around one of the eyes and then dab more polish inside both of them. To finish off with the white, paint on a spiky tongue shape with two little teeth next to it inside the mouth and then add a reflection to his hair. Then just add some pink to the tongue, a dash of black for the pupil and touch up the lines with some black polish. Once that's done it's time to clean up around your cuticles and apply a top coat. Let me know what you think of these nails in the comments and if you recreate this or any of my designs make sure you use the hashtag LookNailDNZ on Instagram so I can see them. Thanks heaps for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you later. You can fix up your mistakes by using the background colours to erase them, I find that really helpful. So here's how my silhouettes turned out. The thumb is going to have the hashtag double the